Okay, so like I said, kind of got this reorganized, but it's still not down to the finale. I put my uh, Pulaski in the back there, but I've got fence post uh, staples in it. I put a couple toggles here on a 100 pound magnet. Got a solar solar battery pack over there. This is where all my stuff sits. Behind this, there are snare supports and everything uh, that is long and it's uh, running back behind that and down alongside that. Back there, I've got some extra bait, urine, et cetera, et cetera. With my tough belt, I'm gonna mount a clip right here and I wanna mount it just like that one's mounted back there. That box right there, that's for like creek, snaring, anything that I would need. And this is for more like my daily um, go-to. Back in the back on the milk crate, I put all the extensions that I had, except for the ones that I got from um, North American Trapper. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to finish getting this put up. I'll have a little bit of room to put fur. And the nice thing about this whole setup is this is just uh, an insert. I can literally take all the stuff out, take all the stuff off of it, pick this insert up, and then have my full truck bed if I needed it. So I can do that within probably 30 minutes. Hey, good morning. It's raining this morning. I got up at about 4.30 this morning. And over the past, oh, three, three out of the four days, we've, we've been getting a little bit of rain. So that's, I think that's gonna be helpful. And I'm hopeful that some of these uh, dried up feeders will will have a little bit of water in them come uh, November. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start presetting here soon, and it's not going to be anything like super hardcore, super crazy. Maybe do 12, 24, maybe 30 traps. You know over a weekend and and then uh just kind of keep doing that rinse repeat rinse repeat and um hopefully be able to set out quite a few um i won't be doing anything uh any big vacation line here i've been using my vacation for um some conventions and then also with my family which i thought was very important to get out and um you know do a do a couple of things with them uh, especially with how much they support me so the only vacation I'll be using is for when I go out of state to trap, but I'm going to try and run some decent um, vacation, they're not vacation, weekend lines and hopefully a couple um, like longer weekend lines maybe. So we're just going to see how, we're just going to see how it pans out, but it should be, I mean, still a very, very um, productive season. At least some, that's my, my hope. <laughs> There's a guy that always is carting in and out of stuff and just like selling or auctioning or what. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so I just wanted to hop on here. I, I, dude, I have to give a shout out to old Bailey's Trapping Supplies. Thanks again, man, for the hat. Really, really appreciate it. But something I wanted to guys give you a heads up on. 27th and the 28th, uh, there's going to be kind of two pretty good trapping events going on if you want to check them out if you're around like the um midwest or even like the tri-state area within ohio um the united trappers of kentucky they're going to have some they're going to have something going on uh the 27th and the 28th which is friday and saturday coming up uh th they're going to be at the glencoe going to be at the gallatin county fairgrounds it's something like i'm going to put it all in the uh, don't give me too much shit for butchering the name i know it sucked but i'll put it all in the description that way you can kind of take a look at it and see and kind of see what's going on but you also want to keep in mind that the hoosier trap line uh they're putting on a big thing at their at their place so the like the hoosier trap line supply house or whatever you would want to call it it's at 1121 matthews road and that's, uh, I believe that's in Greenwood, Indiana. Hey man, you have two really, really nice trapping events. I mean, I know the, the United Trappers of Kentucky is big because I've been there before. Actually, my buddy went to the spring meet and said it was big. And they're like, oh, you think this is big? You gotta be at the fall meet. And I went to the fall meet and it was big. Um, 
I just kind of walked around and was perusing. Uh, I can't, where did they have it last year? Ah, oh, man, I can't remember. Um, was it the same place? No. I can't. I can't remember. If you if you do know, uh, put put it down in the comments. But I I can't think of it for the life of me. Um, but that's a really nice that's a really nice event. Uh, I just went. It just came back from the West Virginia. That was a really nice event. Uh, pretty pretty solid turnout, really. And then, like I said, I've never been to the Hoosier. Uh, I've always wanted to go. I've always. I, but I think what Charlie and and them do pretty tip top, honestly. And I think it would be a super, super cool place to check out. Like just to go there, see the shop, see the environment. And then I think they have demos lined up all day and a nice a nice uh, food option all day. And then I probably do even live entertainment. So man, if, if you get a chance this weekend and you're, and you're free, go check them out. One, the Hoosier will be in Indiana and then you have the one obviously in Kentucky. So check them out, man. Let me know what you think. Maybe you'll see me there at one of them. <laughs> this is one of my dad's favorite songs, by the way. So this is a uh, one of the squirtable lures, and it's another. So I've actually been testing a few of them for uh, in real small quantities. I, I've been uh, fortunate enough to have someone help me uh, and give me a little bit of knowledge. Like, don't try and you know take the same amount <clears throat> of a small quantity duplicate it to x amount and then throw it all together and try and mix it because it doesn't turn out the same so that's a really good tip actually and uh so i make everything in really small quantities and then i what i do is i take it and i pour it into a larger container and then i just keep adding to that and rinse and repeat until i get x amount of what i want i'm making several new uh, kind of squirtable lures and uh, one of them is going to be like a, a squirtable bait type lure. Um, I've got names for them all and they're on they're on my Facebook or even I think some of them are on, on the YouTubes. Not if but when I have them all finished and I have it ready to go because I want it to be tip top I'll start I'll start putting it up on the website and I'll give guys that a notice and I, I have so, had some guys reach out to me about um, you know, some guys that I'm kind of close with, especially through the master class, reach out and say like, you know, hey, when's this going to be ready? Can you put me down for some? So I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Really, really awesome. So can't thank you enough. And the support's good on my part, man. I, I, I appreciate it. You know, even if it's small, I appreciate the support. And uh, I'll keep you in the loop, brother. All right. I'm trying something here. Stool. All right, come on. Get there. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Can you do it? Come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh yeah. Badass. Good job, Miley. Come on, you want to try? Come on, Miley. Come on, Miley. Come on, Miley. No, that's all right, baby. That's all right, baby. That's okay. <laughs>